I am. All right. We have a quorum, so we're calling in the order of 738. We have no guests, but just so you know, um, Mark Berenger may show up a little bit later to sit in. He is considering running the open spot. Uh, January minutes. Sorry, February, I'm looking at the wrong. I did not put that on my agenda. So what do you need? I need it. I need to put that up. Do you need I think technically, Aaron, Scott, I meant to still be here. But I was just saying, yeah. Thank you. He, he's technically absent. That's still, he's still on board. Until the election is still on board. All right, I'm going to resign. Thank you. Hey, thanks. I don't know if he was here for some reason. Oh, yeah. Uh, Mike was here, wasn't he? Mike was here. Mike was here. Yeah. Yeah. All right. And was Actually, Jake here? Yeah, Who? No. no. Jake wasn't here. Jake was not here. No. All right. So Jake will be placed on the present with Michael. So under 2013 elections, Michael was also running for his one-year term. You know, I noticed that, and I thought, I wonder if if we didn't talk about this because we knew that already. We knew it a month before, but he was still on the fence. That's what I thought was the rationale for not having that in there. No, yeah, I'll throw it in. I'm sure we talked about it, but it just might not have been the first time we talked about it. Right. And then review of action items, you put confirm most of the details with P, that was probably your abbreviation, but it's pixel and light. I'm supposed to go back at that. <laughs> Thank you. Otherwise, does anybody have any questions on this? Somebody like to motion to accept? And then we'll As amended. I wasn't here, so I can't. Yesterday, I don't 
Um, well, we checked it when yeah. we left after the Friends meeting. I didn't think to check this morning. Okay. You, I, I probably would have noticed. Um, it's, it's this one spot. It's leaked off and on since we've been here. Sometimes it's just a little spot in the ceiling tile. Other times we've lost whole ceiling tiles. Um, the first diagnosis was that it's coming in through the HVAC unit, but only when there's a lot of snow and it's raining sideways and you know something up there is trapping the The HVAC people came and looked at it and built this metal hood thing. They have a lot of money and it still does it. Um, again, only when there's a lot of snow, a lot of rain, and a lot of wind, and not even every time then. So hmm. Richard, Richard thought that he had put a patch he may or may not have, it might have come loose, I don't know. Um, sort of calling a roofer, which you can certainly do when the weather's a little better. I mean, the, the, the damage could be. So far, it's been minimal. Um, and it's over, it's sort of over the VHS, so, and, you know. It's a little to protect. But what, what is happening? Underneath the roofing and before it gets through the mm -hmm. ceiling. And yeah, water. Yeah, you know, because yeah, you should definitely have a little depth. You don't want mold staining. No, you don't want all of a sudden the rotten fall in, you know? And it probably wouldn't cost much to get an opinion. Mm -hmm. Just can you find this yeah. problem? Right. So, I mean, anyone who wants to ask around <clears throat> for a roof or a referral, that would be great. And, and Richard did go on the roof the day that we lost the ceiling tile, and he said that the drain had some leaves on it, which, you know, I said, well, didn't you move the leaves in the fall? And I'm pretty sure I asked, you know, mm -hmm. what is on the list of to do maintenance things to do in the fall. Um, and, he, and, you know, he's gone up a couple of times since, so. We're grateful for that. <laughs> well, there's a thing I was telling Michelle. It's a one story. The door. Yeah, like, nah. no, 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 it's not. It's, you, know what, you know what the worst is when if it, it's noon and the fire hoses go, the horn that they test every day? So, like, that's scary. <laughs> they took it out. Really? They're not doing that anymore? They took it out. Okay, well, then one less thing to worry about. <laughs> now I'll go up. <laughs> Um, so we've been doing some training. Obviously, we have Suzanne, who I hope you all took a moment to introduce yourself to tonight. Um, so that was an opportunity to do some more training. And we're, I might have mentioned before, we're kind of scheduling more regular staff meetings. What happens is we have a staff meeting every quarter. And by the time a quarter is going to come around, there's just so many little memos and reminders to talk about that we fill out the whole two hours. With talk. So we thought if we had them more frequently, say every month, we could actually do some training, look at the databases, look at virtual catalog and novelist, and some of the other products that they might not be familiar with. So we're working on that. And then statistics, you'll notice that patron visits are down 14%. Well, three snowy weekends in a row will do that for you. <laughs> and um, circulation held steady, which I think we can also attribute to the three snowy weekends. Came in and stocked up. I was here one day. I don't think it was. It might have been the day before the blizzard. And it was crazy, and people were getting stacks and stacks and stacks of books. Like they thought they would never. Like they'd be stuck at home for a week or something. Saturday's still a pretty crazy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so. mm -hmm. um, and ebooks are holding steady at two per day. And I, you know, I've been talking them. Ever since I did the um, Kindle training at the Council on Aging, I've sort of been, it's been in the forefront of my mind. I've been talking it up to a lot of people. You know, people who, people who I know are heavy users. Like, hey, are you into ebooks? Yeah, do you know that there's these resources out there? And I've been talking about the BPL e-card too. I don't know if everybody knows about that, but any resident of Massachusetts can get an e-card at the BPL and use all their electronic resources. So Overdrive, Collection, which is Ebooks, audiobooks, they also have streaming video and streaming music. All just through their website? Yep. Yep, you just go on the website. It uses some kind of geolocation to see if you are in Massachusetts. Mm -hmm. And then it emails you a number and you're good to go. Mm -hmm. Ten items at once. 
which in, if you can have 10 BPL items and five MPLC items, mm -hmm. you can have 15 at once. Wow. And just read all three. <laughs> well, again, you, you know. music and movies and, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. If you go on vacation, you always want to bring a few extra in case you don't like it. True. <laughs> I know her telling her to stop them. <laughs> And we were, we were a little busy with programming again. Um, Monday was the second, which second became the first poetry workshop. We are going to probably reschedule the first one. Carla brought three teens with her that she knew. So at least there was teens and they had a good time. And we're talking about ways to um, get more interest in that again. Pam, can you talk about the Facebook? Um, Views of the young adult, the pros program. I don't remember the numbers that you were saying. Yes, um, it's it's really interesting when you go back to Facebook after having posted something, and I don't think they do this on the personal ones, but with our institutional site, it tells me 38 people view this post, and then there was a couple of Chillicothe ones that said 120 people saw this post. So I thought, oh, it's been retweeted. Yeah, no, that's not the right term, but no, I reposted. Yeah, you know, reposted. Thank you. And so. Uh, so I'm looking at that now and thinking, oh, look, this got reposted. Someone was you know, interested enough in this to repost it. And within a day, um, the Pros Workshop announcement had 500 views. Excellent. So the fine has some followers. <laughs> now, no one has wow. registered yet, so I sent an email out today reminding, asking the teachers to remind their students that you need to register for it. You know, they're teenagers, they may be just figuring, they may be waiting for the last minute to make sure nothing else comes up, but I'll feel better when there's a couple names on the list. That age. Right. That's yeah. what my son says to me. I had a bunch of people in two years. They don't uh, Really? Everything's on Facebook. It's Facebook. It's also all social. Really? That's his. It's just, it's, yeah. Well, I'm not a teacher. Yeah. Yeah. When I have actually, if, if I don't receive an answer from one particular friend of mine who's notoriously bad for email, I message her through Facebook. I don't post it on Facebook. I send her a message. Yeah. 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 And I almost always get a reply then. So. She's like, oh, I never check my whole email anymore. It just feels so untrustworthy. I don't know. It feels very intrusive to me, but mm -hmm. they think of it the other way. This email is intrusive. Um, many of you, most of you, were at the Chili Book Off. Partha was sick. Um, Since Friday. Oh. Just starting to recover. Oh boy. So it gets close to me. <laughs> <laughs> it's contagious. Um, everyone pretty much noticed it was a smaller event than usual, and it was a new time, it was a new venue, it was, you know, a new everything. Um, but it, it netted about $2,400. 20, 20, 24, closer to 25. Yeah. And, um, I mean, that's not that, it's really not that far off from other years. So. They ran out of beer. Yeah, they ran out of beer. Yeah, there was, there was, it, there was quite a few glitches, you know, whether it's in a new venue or new people or something, but there was one I did. And, and they also ran out of water, and I wondered later, you can mention this to Nancy, did they run out of water because they ran out of beer? I thought about that later after the meeting. Yeah, like, yeah. Mm -hmm. Good question. Because usually we're dragging the water out of them. Right, yeah. So. But if oh, there's no beer and you're thirsty <laughs> from all the hot chili, I, you don't know, like wine, maybe. That's So net funds raised, you said 2400 Well, closer 20, to 25 24, 7, 24 6, but there were still some things to be added yeah. to the traffic, so yeah. it's an estimate. What was this last year? That's last year was like 32 some, No, some last, last year was 27. 27 or 8. Something like that. It wasn't and super far off. The only difference being we had a few extra donations this year, so it wasn't all for you know, revenue. But we had to expenses. Yeah. yeah, there were offsets for the expenses, I guess is the way we would phrase it. That's 
from last night's meeting. Oh, okay. So I think there were two years that were a little higher. Yeah, and, and last last year there were last year there were bigger expenditures. Yes. And then right. That's right too. So twenty seven hundred, thirty three hundred, thirty two hundred, twenty four hundred are the past four years. So it's right in there. Yeah. And it's always been one of those things that you think, for the amount of work that went into it, that's not a lot of money. But on the other hand, it's a really fun community event that a lot of people enjoy. So there's that. And it's great PR for the friends. Bruce Tarr was there and he always says wonderful things about the friends in the library. Mm -hmm. and so it's it's really an event. If, it, if we earned nothing, it's still maybe. If we earned nothing, it would be a little scary. But <laughs> it, it's, it's we, we've talked about it's it's still stuff. benefit. Because it really is a lot of work. Mm -hmm. But we all feel, I think, that the goodwill that we would lose by stopping it wouldn't be worth it. Yeah, the continued generosity mm -hmm. of the local businesses that have Right, yeah. right. You know. And every year we're getting more sponsor type of donations from people, so we raise more money basically. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, or we offset the expenses. expenses. So, um, and it really is a lot of fun. Even for those of us who bust our butts. You know, for example, yeah, I'm getting it ready. Yeah. Yeah. All the biodegradable cups and plates and spoons, those are very expensive, but we like to say it's a great event, you know? Right. And, and if anybody had seen the bags and bags and bags of trash before we switched, it really was. Did you go with the John's Crash? It was very organized. Like, I don't know what happened this year well, versus this past years. We've had the same things, it seems. This is the second year we've had that little compost, compost recycle station. And I think it, it was followed pretty well. Yeah. It was 100%, but it didn't yeah, it was, you know. And the year we had a lot less kids. There were a lot less kids, yeah. So that may have had something to do with the... That could have had something to do with it. Well, they're trash. more used to sorting trash than most adults. That's a good point, too. This is that emergency call. Oh, hello. So then I'll be bringing in a minute. <laughs> so should we have five minutes of recess and, uh, and start again? Oh, gosh. Oh, 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 oh. No. No, 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 they're testing at work. They're testing the emergency, yeah. emergency contact uh, tree kind of thing. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Are we, uh, are the friends are looking to set a date for the fall? That's kind of up in the air. It's going to depend on whether St. Mary's is available, whether people want to bring it back to Raleigh, whether we want to stay in. If, if we stay in Governors, it, it can only be when the kids are not there. So really, these holidays, which you don't want to do, or spring break, or summer, but you know, people don't want to do chili in the summer. So if it stays at Governors, it has to be March. And St. Mary's, the, the issue is the bathroom. The septic. The septic. And, and they, they are starting to they work on it, but we will eventually that. replace. But yeah. I don't believe, from what I've heard, I don't believe it will be ready for November. But at the same time, whatever the decision is, if we do end up bringing it back, we skipped a year to hold it in March, basically. Mm -hmm. We can do the same and half. half. Right. Yeah. A year so and we half. could do another year and a half and do it in November yeah. 2014 if that's what we end up deciding to do. If it looks like we're going to get that venue. Yeah, you know, if they fix the subject, so there's still a lot of money after this future. one. Mm -hmm. um, there's a lot of things we don't know. Was there a lower attendance because of the location or the time of year or some combination of them? There was, there was also two competing events. There was a yeah. pasta cook off at St. Mary's, Mary's, Mary's in Georgetown, which of course State is also Raleigh Parish, and the spring musical at the high school, which had been postponed. Right, at some point of that too, they not only was it scheduled for that night, the Friday night and Thursday night had both been canceled due to snow. So anyone who was planning on going those two nights went on Saturday. Saturday. So, okay. so there was a lot so of things that came together to kind of so make so, it not the usual. You know, yeah, yeah. And, but nobody's, there was a couple of publicity things that normally would have happened that didn't happen. Um, we didn't get the newsletter functioning in time. Nancy decided it was too expensive to fix the banner, so. The banner yeah. fixing got crazy because yeah. yeah, yeah. So anyway, anyway, it is what it is. We we still made money. So and had fun. And had fun. So the friends are still supporting us in many ways. So you've got a couple more events on there? Yeah. The Poetry Slam, um, which is gonna be March twenty eighth. 
past six. I encourage you to attend. It was a lot of fun, the first one. And then I think we're going to do a live stream of Dan Brown talking about whatever he's going to talk about. And book sale, jumping right from Julie Hook up into book sale is our next big fundraiser that the friends do, that Michelle chairs. So um, we need boxes, we need donations, we need helpers. And you probably all got the email where she manages the schedule and you can go and sign up for jobs. Mm -hmm. I'm an awesome sort. Are you good? She's a librarian. Of course. <laughs> we have a few bringers. Yeah. <laughs> and then the rest of us. It, well, it, it, and it's funny seeing the mist sort, the, like the logical mist sorts, like, oh, I can see why this is here. Yeah. <laughs> 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 All right. Yeah, absolutely. Whatever. Um, and, and I'll just say, um, Michelle, do you want to just say the dates and everything on TV? Yep, the first drop off day is March 30th. It's they're always here at the end in the meeting room from 9 to 12. The library is not open until 10, but the side door of the building is open. And then the second date is April 20th, um, with the books, actual book sale being Saturday, May 4th, Sunday the 5th, and then the friends do a preview night Friday the 3rd. So just for friends members, but if anyone is not a member, they can buy membership at the door. So we usually get a pretty good crowd Friday night as well. Should I mention the other two events or should I wait until the friends we have? Either. Um, two events that didn't make this, this um, report because they weren't actually decided on. Uh, one is a candidates night. I don't remember the date to you. It's, it's the, it's the, the Wednesday before the election. So the election is May 14th. That would be... It was a May 8th. Um, and there is at least one contested race. I wonder, I wonder if both of those candidates would show. Well, one of the things we can do is invite them. Um, but there's still another week or so to go sneak out papers. And even then, it's not contested if you would like to speak about your candidacy. Mm -hmm. Those of you who are up for election, you are. It's, I mean, it's, it's a good opportunity for people to get to know their representatives, mm -hmm. you know, because a lot of them wouldn't otherwise. Right. <clears throat> and um, also, May is membership month, and Michelle was talking about people can buy memberships at the door. The friends also send a town wide mailing April ish to remind people to renew their memberships. Our Long Range Planning Survey is going to go out with that town-wide mailing. Um, they have all the printing and folding done professionally, but we stuff the envelopes. So at some point, they'll need to announce that there's an envelope stuffing party. People, you know, it'll last all afternoon and the evening, and people will just come and contribute whatever they whatever can they contribute. Can. So stuff and blue. Look forward to that, and if you're available, it's kind of fun, because you just, you know, mm -hmm. sitting here. Yeah. Like they'll keep coming to you. Yeah. Well, Someone else has got like the hair. No, that's. I have them froze. Trying to put something in my calendar. It's usually just a recording, so I don't know why I would do that. Anyway. Um. Any questions? Any questions on the director's report? No. That's something that you want to accept. I'll accept the director's report as presented. I'll second. All those in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Thank you. Moving on to the budget. One thing that happened with the budget that has happened since I sent you the document, our HVAC service contract came in and the renewal was only $25.50. I don't know why, but I'm just keeping my mouth shut about it and paying it. <laughs> um, it, it could be that you know they have like an energy surcharge for the past few years that they've taken away or you know, yeah. I don't know. Or it could it could have been also that I calculated an increase just based on a guess in when I put this budget together. I don't really remember if I did that. So there's an extra $125, which is good because we're running very low on repairs and maintenance. 
And in fact, since this budget, I've also spent two hundred dollars on light bulbs. So, okay. any special light bulbs? The metal halide ones for the exterior lights are twenty dollars a piece. Okay. And we just replaced. We replaced like three of them when we were out, so you buy ten. That makes it worth them delivering them, and yeah. you have a little few on stock. The uh, I parked our back, and there were no lights on the moment. Okay, I probably just need I need to adjust the timer because I changed the daylight savings, so I just probably have it set a little too late. Okay, maybe I'm going to go back up. Are they on now? Is there anything else on? I just want to make sure they're on now. No, it's not on. Okay, so that's what they brought the timer. I'll fix it. <laughs> All right, any questions on the budget as we stand right now? Everything looks to be in good shape for where we are in the school year. Somebody like to motion to accept Pam's budget report? So moved. Any second? Okay. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Uh, update on the 375. Well, we had another meeting, but we didn't really do anything at that meeting because when we got there, there was no heat in the building. So, <laughs> um, I've also heard from the Jewett family of America they will most likely change their reunion to coincide with the celebration. Normally, they come every five years on the fives. Um, as far as our preparations, the grants been submitted. <laughs> and um, was the next step in the book selection process is to send out a link to the short list with a link to a survey for people to voice their opinions. That will happen whenever the friends get their newsletter software up and running because that's what I'll put the survey in. I gave you all the short list, didn't I? Maybe, I? maybe I was waiting on everything until the survey was ready. Did you send a list of books? Did I? a short list. There were six titles. I think that is. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. So, anybody reading? We'll leave an outreach. Everyone? We'll leave an outreach update. Okay. okay. Read. Did someone ask about that? I listened to, we're talking about the book shorts? I guess not yet. All right. Yeah, well, okay. <laughs> you're really excited. There's outreach is coming out. I can wait. I'll table it. Can I table that? You can. You can also save it for the um, you know planning committee meeting. Okay. <laughs> one you think you're going to like the least yeah and then see if you can bear you know see if there's any appeal at all whatsoever that was your idea i don't want to take i don't want to take Okay. So can I ask anything about yes. those while we're waiting? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Where are the 375s? You can ask about those. Okay. My, my question is, was there a concept of doing a, a juvenile and an adult book? There is. Yes. I'm concerned about this because I have read the one fiction book. Not that I don't like it and I think it's relevant, but it's not appropriate for Jones, for people. It's a little bit dangerous. Just because of the sexual explicitness of some of the scenes. I haven't got that, that yet. Spoiler alert. <laughs> to have a young adult alternative to that so that that's if, I think if the idea is yeah. yeah. that yeah. right as a concept so that be something it, besides so those things. Yes. Yes. that is our hope to either have a if we choose a book that has a juvenile version pick or that, that or something yes. similar to or that. choose a totally different book on the same okay. theme but to have a juvenile or a bunch of books on the theme yeah, for yeah. different ages. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So we can have these yeah. like delivered stain and saying, you know, having read it as an adult, I'm concerned about the CYA portion of people. I just finished it actually, and that's a good point that I took to my mind, so. The what? Children's Young Adult. Oh, yeah. I was trying to say, sorry. what was inappropriate about the book. Oh, no. And I'm like, what could that possibly <laughs> stand for? <laughs> so, so go with my initial guess. <laughs> There's some, you know, fairly explicit sexual scenes. Or fairly... Not I don't explicit. remember that. Am I just in the water? Now, is that the one where they... I'm thinking of a, a little bit a totally different scene. There's just a couple. In the... Flashbacks or in the flashbacks. Oh, that's where I, thought you were I was going. wondering if that was in that book or a different book. It is that book. Yeah. 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 Yes. Yeah. yeah. So not that we shouldn't use it, but mm -hmm. I think it might be we need to have a an alternative. Mm -hmm. But I think we did not to do that. We don't right. necessarily expect the kids to read. It's hot. it's, it's weird. Yeah. I thought, yeah. I'm sorry. I thought that because I finished yeah. listening to the Dirty Life and. I thought it was going to be reading the description. I thought it was going to be more of a romance thing, you know. And that's why I chose it as my least favorite one to <laughs> to listen to. And it wasn't really, you know, very. It wasn't what I thought. I heard that Rob liked it too. Yeah, I, we I had liked it better. Paul from Hamilton went in the library <laughs> from our alumni that worked over there. <laughs> but I didn't find it riveting to use. I just started it. Okay. That's next on And I want to. Okay. Yeah. I thought it was yeah. Essex. And it does a lot yeah, of I, I would almost use the word riveting for Essex. Just and I'm not even at the whale yet. I'm just that like. And the voyage. The voyage. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. I mean, such a, yeah. a broad <laughs> way. Which way we yeah. go. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to try to tell you. Because I'm just saying, like, I mean, we could do herbs. A lot of activities. Yeah. 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 One little thing in the front of the building 
we could do one thing over each window, but one of them is behind the tree, I mean behind the tree. We could do one in between the two windows, maybe add one in the door. I just, I don't know how one decides these things. It was actually just discussed, much like the laptop that we thought we approved. No, we didn't approve. No, I'm sure. I'm sure the flag and the budget were. Because I have like in my to do to order that this spring. It's not in the I feel like we did I thought we approved the laptop. So. Hmm. Can I move to can approve the purchasing of bunting for the front of the building just in time for the 375th? You can. I will second that. You know, I may have seconded before. <laughs> All was in favor. Aye. Any opposed? Thank you. Okay. All right. In the building. So, um, the lights are out, so we can't even go outside and look at the building. But you all have a pretty good idea of what it looks like, right? You're in the building. Follow up with Jerry in here. I'm not going to the books in there. So you're saying just one in the entry? Yeah. I, I, think as, I think aesthetically three. one in the entry would be great. If we were trying to do more than that, we'd have to do one over you each do, window, yeah, yeah, which this great. one you wouldn't even see. Or you do one in between the two windows, but I don't think that works as well. This one you can fit one that's more substantial for the middle. Yeah. yeah. Oh, good point. You just get, get a higher quality one in just the one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. I think that would. Because if it goes like pillar to pillar, that's going to be substantial. Right. I mean, well, I was thinking in, I was thinking the inside of the pillars, but it can be on the outside. Well, it's still going to go pillar to pillar, but yeah, between them as opposed to. Actually, that's a good point. Could you get one that has something that? Like, I know you were just doing that with your fingers, but could you like get one hurting? I think that's very well, not kind of regular, you know, that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to picture it. I don't know. Sorry. <laughs> 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 Do you want to unload it the budget? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you can. It's a little late. Oh, you know what? Just... There's this one yellow student who removes this flag every week. And she just refuses to move it back. But since you're having me, it has to be in the front left corner. I'm going to put it back. It's going to be a lot of editing. That's actually a great image for TV, though. We're going to call more people with you. No. I'm not here the next two weekends, so it wouldn't be before then. If they want the 30th, I'm going to go with that. I mean, you know, they're probably not from Connecticut, so yeah, we're on their schedule. They can get pictures of the bookstore. But yeah, I kind of thought that. I thought that would be fun. <laughs> I will be. So, <laughs> interesting. Um, so when I know when that is, I'll let you all know. Um, if anyone wants to come down and meet them and talk to them. I don't really know how this will be. I imagine a lot of the work will take place like on conference calls. So will they want to come in they want to get into the building yeah. to take pictures to someone? I told them when we're open there. and I said I could meet them if that's not convenient. Okay. Um, but we do want to put together a working group um, so it's not just me approving you know the, the pieces of the website. We need more input than that. So hopefully some people from the staff and a couple people from here and maybe a friend or two. Um, we'll start to be a loose working group making those decisions. And that's all I want. And did you meet again regarding the staffing considerations? I met Bev with, excuse me, Debbie and Bob Snow. Um, I showed them my big proposal, which I emailed a lot of documents to you. Um,
Do we, do we want to look at the proposals again? Did we kind of talk about them last time? We did not talk them through. No, we talked them through. Okay. Uh, well, we talked them through in the working committee. Okay. I don't know if we did in this meeting or not. No. I wasn't here. We did an so overview of. Yeah. An overview of we were looking at X, Y, and Z, and we decided okay. that Z was the, the one that we wanted. Right, right. There were two proposals. So there's so yeah, there's 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 three there's three budgets, working budgets at this time. One is level funded, but actually meeting tomorrow. The second one adds eight hours each to Amy's and her main schedule. In that scenario, all three of the management team, myself, Amy, and Hermaine, would also work one evening a week. So to extend the coverage of having a third person and a management person here. Um, and that adds $17,246 to the budget, which is an increase of 8%. The ideal version of the budget would include that increase as well as now go back and look at your work week and see where the gaps are where you don't quite have three people. And shift, shift hours. So add, so add, add hours. So, so now we have everybody working what they work, plus eight extra hours for those guys, plus an evening. That leaves one evening, so we're open four, there's only three of us, and one morning when someone else is coming in late. And Saturday. So that we would have three people so instead of a two-person rule, it's a three-person rule. It wouldn't be a hard and fast rule like we couldn't open, but it would be it would be, we would have that schedule. And of course, the safety of the staff is the main reason we're doing this. And that's you know what we're trying to convince the personnel board and the finance committee that in this day and age, two people in a building of thirteen thousand square feet at in the evenings and weekends right. is not sufficient. So to add I have nine hours here, but when I looked at it again, I thought it might be seven hours, so I have to really go through carefully. Um, and it's a very, it's a minimal difference. So adding nine hours would be another, uh, I don't actually have what it would be. It would be another $6,000 for an increase of $23,700. And then in addition to, I'm not sure I've explained this before, but because we have to spend 16% of our operating budget on materials, anytime we add to the budget, we need to add an additional 16% for the materials to meet that requirement. So adding that in is another $4,000 brings us up to $27,500, which is an increase of 12, almost 13%. Though Pam, what we had talked about was that if, there's, if the budget is tight, that 16% does not have to, we have to spend that 16%, but it doesn't have to come from It could from come from town. somewhere else. But at this point, in, at this point in time, the budget is not tight and we're not bargaining and making right. contingencies. Right. You know. Um, at this point in time, the budget is very much up in the air. They are, and this kind of covers the next item, which is the parity review. They have had the consultant come in and look at the key positions and pretty much all of the positions and the overall pay scale, and has suggested sweeping changes and increases to almost everybody. Including library director? Yes. <laughs> so are we supposed to hold? Um, so everything's on hold until the school budget's finalized, and they determine whether they can afford this new yeah, proposal. So. Okay. Um, and they have my numbers, they have our three things, they're behind it. They understand the reasoning for it. It's just a matter of can they make the math work. If they can make the math work, we go with the blessing of the finance committee, the selectmen, and the personnel committee to town meeting. If the math doesn't work, we still have the option of going to town meeting on our own and convincing the voters directly. But then we would be arguing against the selectmen and the personnel committee and the Finance committee. So, but that's still a you know a road that can be taken. Okay. Um, what's the schedule on that on the budgets and stuff? I'm trying to remember. It's like the next meeting. Are we in the April meeting? Are we approving a budget to present? Well, I was see. I, I Janet, tell me if this is possible. I sent you the three budgets. I'm trying to find the right one. Okay. I don't know if you want to do this. I don't know if there's a way to do this. But if you want to somehow 
approve all three of them depending on contingencies, then I think we're covered. But if you think we need to meet again when we've decided on which one is going to be turned in and defended, then that's fine too. I believe that we have in the past approved multiple budgets and then you know, understanding that the, the selectmen and the finance committee will ultimately dictate or influence in any case which one is the one we actually end up going with. Um, so unless there comes up with something else where it's absolutely level funded even if we don't make them are, like we had a year or two ago, then we don't really have to meet again and to that, those approvals. The, the level funded is like is less than three hundred dollars. I mean that the, Meeting the bar, I don't think is going to be at issue at this time, this, this go round. So I'm looking, this is one preliminary FY14 budget. Does anybody need, there are so many, but I do have, I only made a couple copies. Which is the other? Oh, the yeah. other ones are the budget request. Budget, yeah. Okay. We've got a whole bunch of different. We have a preliminary budget FY14. Budget requests. And then there should be three that are called budget requests. Yeah, okay, so there's actually four documents. Yeah. Okay. Did you send this after the budget, after your director's report? March. I sent it before. before. I, in fact, I sent it the day I had my meeting with Deb and Bob. I sent it right after that. Do you have what you need? I have lots of them. <laughs> no, you don't know which one I'm supposed to have. Give me the title of the. the very tough. Which one do you want to first? Yeah, I think that's, that's how we so. I mean, then the yeah. budget one, what you have is a damage. Okay, so which one do you want to do? The preliminary budget is this. This is the one where I look at the last, I look at the last three years of spending, and, and that just gives you a rationale of what's coming at us. Um, and that one, our network fee goes up, um, the wages and salaries go up a little bit only because there's an extra day in the fiscal year. And then because of those two increases, then of course the materials expenditure has an increase. And those three things alone bring us within $300 of the MAR. So that's, the, the level funder would actually be the MAR, which is calculated here. And then there are three documents, and it's probably more confusing for you because I have them all printed out and stapled together really nicely. But this is the format that the town budget, this is what the forms the selectmen want. So there's a page A, which is just a summary. I'm sorry, form one is what it's called, is the summary. Form two is your wages calculation, and then form three is your expenses calculation. But which budget are you looking at? And there are three of those. There's one A, one B. So there's there's an A budget, a B budget, and a C budget. <laughs> Here, Eve, let me just Okay. Find the right. Each one is three pages. Each one has three forms. So there's form 1A, form 1B, form 1C, and then there's form 1B, form 1, 2B, form 2C, and then So form 1A. The one that you're calling level funded MAR yes. is equivalent to the, the one that we're using. Yes, today. it's equivalent to this. Okay. It's Where just it? in the it's format that will be turned into okay. to this level. Okay. So this is actually kind of our. So this, this, is, this is the document, really, that we need for things. It's the one that I turn in. If we increase the associates, okay. did we just, did we just and this is increase the associates and. Oh, we did because of the staffing considerations. So, so, somehow they're all blended in together. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. It does. So, Aaron's just thinking. Um, what is it? So, this is actually yeah. several things rolled up in one. Yeah. But it's not, yeah. Yeah, it's not huge. <laughs> Somebody asked, because you asked if we were going to make a budget. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Staying on track. What do we need to know about Form 1A? Um, form Form One A would not actually be submitted because I would I would fudge that figure to be the mar just somewhere somehow I would make it the mar. Well, you know, yeah, I would just say I'm sorry, level funding doesn't work for us, and everybody knows why because two years ago we didn't meet the mar and it was a big headache. But they can still say that that we're going to be shy by three hundred dollars if they want to go through the paperwork. 
It's their choice. So, they will. This one is as close to level funded as we anticipate getting. Mm -hmm. Okay, so 1B, let me try to find that one, okay. This one is to increase the associates by 20 hours per week plus Yeah, I do. I make, I make a few. Are you not seeing that for one day? No. What are you saying on one day? To just increase the Oh, that's all it says, but I'm saying most likely the materials budget was increased yeah. in keeping with it. Yes. So that would be the only difference. Mm -hmm. Yes. And so it would be 28 if you look at personnel hours plus the difference in 16% that we have to have in materials. And what I did is I used form two, which is the wages, to find out exactly what would be needed. I subtracted what the wages were in for in budget A, budget B, and divided that by 16%. And so I calculated how much was added, and I added another 16%. Which is what you have to do, right? Right. So that's the one that's eight, eight something percent. Okay. So this brings us to three employees whenever we're open. No. No. This just adds the 28 hours a week to the two management positions. Okay. And so then add the additional tech costs for the meter or pay. And a manager work. here three nights. Three out of four nights. So is that the only difference between B and C? And then C is the nine hours of a technician to fill in the holes so that there always is three people here, particularly on Saturday. And um, another nice document we have, Michelle the Excel, Excel Wiz created this document which shows our, circu our circulation by hour. We got from MBLC a report that showed Circulation transactions every hour going back to 2008. So using pivot <coughs> tables and other things I don't understand, <laughs> she made these nice charts that clearly show we are much busier on Saturday than any other day. So let me just confirm. For 1A is level. For 1B would be an increase of 28 hours a week plus the MAR equivalent. And then 1C. No. Plus the, it's confusing because one is MAR and one is MAR. Materials expenditure requirement is the 16%. Okay. The MAR is just what the operating has to be. Okay. So can I just say plus MAR? You can say plus 16%. Materials. Materials. Thank you. And then 1C was, was it the 28 hours plus an increase of nine for a technician? Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Plus 16%. Yeah, plus 16%, plus 16 of the addition for materials. Of that. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. But none of these incorporate any parry review that, this, that the town did on key positions. No, because we don't know what that's going to be yet and if it's going to be funded or not. So these will all change. They, yeah, they could all change. You, you know what? That's a very good point. So we really shouldn't. Do so <clears throat> they're, they're very preliminary. They're right. not okay. final at all. Right. So let's not. I okay. have to hold a special meeting with the end because I would rather know. Yeah, the actual numbers. <clears throat> yeah, you, you need the actual numbers. Do you have something for? Like you're gonna have yeah, I was going to say, let's uh, just suppose that we had the vote on one of the three right now. I think we should just go and fight for the level C one, uh, especially with the Coxon uh, staying behind the past couple of years. The you know, library's at the point that it has it has to grow. It is growing. You can't you can't just suppress it. And I'm sure there's a way we, we can work with the town to get the increases in the additional hours that are, that are desperately mm -hmm. needed. It's not just a whimsical thing that, you know, hey, everybody else is doing it, why we do it? It's, it's more it's, of a necessity of need. It, it's a very real need, and we've documented it, and we for. have the support. And, and we really should advocate and push really hard for C, or I, I would prefer even a higher amount than, than what because this is still very, very minimal as far as staffing goes. Yes. I mean, it's, you know, this is really just really such a safe. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> just that before, but when we moved into the larger building from the small one over on Mothersfield Street, there was never any staffing. Can, Phil, can you grab something? Can you grab that? Somebody at the door? Yeah. 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 So you had something at the 
Since fiscal year 2007, items borrowed went up 51 percent, patronages went up 40 percent, interlibrary loans went up 1,698 mm percent, -hmm. and that's because of the automation. Right. You know, it's all mm -hmm. done systematically. People are at home ordering stuff up. Reference questions are up 78 percent. The number of programs a year is up 33 percent, and the attendance at the programs is up 34 percent. So we're stretched as far as we can service-wise, and we have issues safety-wise. Right. So I think that we absolutely do want to advocate for that mm -hmm. as many hours as we can get. Um, we know we have the support of the personnel. The, the problem I have with A is like we're giving out you know cuts if you, if you need to. And I think that'd be the wrong message to say because you can't cut. Right. We won't have a library. <laughs> so I'm yeah. not really joking about or exaggerating. Yeah. No, no, no. It's, it's a great. It's a great. You know, it's already state statute there that if we start funding, we're going to lose additional funding, and yeah. you know, the town's already got all this money invested. And it's be foolish to start throwing that away. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I think we absolutely do want to push for C or better if we can get it, but I think we do have to wait to have an actual budget with whatever they Yeah, I mean, you can certainly vote your support for, you know, a version of C. Well, I'd like to add, add a D as well, which would include a reasonable uh, wish list where we really believe we, we ought to be at. You know, this is the, the prime ideal funding and levels that we need for personnel as well. That's, I mean, I think C really is, it's, it's our ideal within reason at this time. Right, when we're being asked for level funding, it's our ideal with, without getting greedy. Right, the only it's 12% increase. Yeah, and it's the only other thing that we discussed that I think Pam didn't put into C is to have someone be in the children's room anytime we're open and Part of the reason why that wasn't included is because as you get later in the evening, there might not be children in there. And so if we create a policy or standard that says one person has to be in that room, then you're sort of tying your hands because if you have 12 people out here, you know, you don't want someone sitting in an empty room. It, yeah, so, it was, but I think that's the only thing when we sat like, okay, what would we love to have? What right. do we need? And we kind of decided that. that Making a rule that the children's room would always be staffed would be by a technician. It would be more hours a week than the 16 we're adding to the management. Right. And it worked out to the same money. And we said, okay, we'd rather have the management team here than more technicians here. Right. And you leave that other person to kind of float to wherever, wherever they need yeah. it. So, that, so to, to address Phil's point, that might be the next step. You know, the next time we improve our service, we sure. might say, okay, the children's room should be staffed all the time, and here's what it will cost to fund that, and here's why we want to fund it. Mm -hmm. That might be the next level. Maybe we should add that to our written wish list so that we don't forget. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, so. So we'll still need more information. We need more information before we can actually propose a, a budget, a realistic budget, because we need to know what we have to work with there. So. All right. Mm -hmm. um, 2013 elections. Um, Phil, you got your papers? You took them out? Oh, yes. Yeah, okay. yeah I have any uh, folks have. I can bring in. I think I'm going to pursue on Monday or Tuesday. Okay. The 
last day to take the vote is March 22nd. And then, uh, and the, I want to say the last day to turn it is the 26th. So that's cutting it very close. No, March 26th. Oh, so if you take them out on the last day, you have four, three or four days to turn them around. It should only take you an hour to mark a basket. <laughs> so, um, as I mentioned, we have had one person express interest. I spoke to and someone this morning too. One of, okay. one of the Storytime dads said that his wife might be interested. Okay. I gave him. I actually gave him your phone number because I'm on vacation next week. Yeah. And I, um, I gave them. I gave him the link to the online handbook, yeah, which is in transition, and you know, I don't know. I'm sure mine is terribly outdated. Yeah, no. But um, so yeah, just keep it in mind in case we have to have a writing candidate at the last minute. Try to think of people. That... So we're still down one. We're still down one for the three-year term. You know, I didn't think to tell that gentleman to have his wife come tonight. Just this until right this second, it didn't occur to me at all. Well, if it, if it ends up being a right end, then it's always the appointment. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, um, but that's good. I think we're in, in fair shape. And we have the flyers out of there. Flyers are out of here. Can mm -hmm. you post it on Facebook? Mm -hmm. so, and I think we've all that. Might not be on the website. Oh, okay. So I think, you know, all things considered, we're in decent shape. Um, definitely appreciate that everybody here is rerunning. <laughs> so. You know, if, if no one takes out papers, we, we can do a write-in. We can, well, I'm thinking there's not a time to do a press release, but if we can do a press release that said, oh, nomination part time's over, but you can still be a running candidate if you're interested, call. Yeah, we could do that. And it was maybe, what, two weeks ago that uh, Sue Mason had the article or somebody had the article in mm -hmm. saying, here's who, you know, who has taken out papers and who has not and such. So. And what? New report news. So, stupid question: Write in means if one person writes it in, they're elected. Or how many people have to write in to make it happen? Enough to be the third highest vote getter. Right. So, so yes. So if stresses that if someone's gonna, <laughs> if Sue Hazen stresses that if someone. Like you should make sure that the person who you're organizing a writing campaign for is interested because if they get voted, they're in, and if they don't want it, then we're stuck. Really? They can't say no? They can say no. I think they, they can. They can say no. Because, because but then we right, have, right, right now we're still stuck with yeah. with you know, no one or um, to her point, if they don't say no, if they just say, I don't know what you're talking about, I didn't want to have that, then we have this person who's elected and I, no, I, I, think, I think they I think they well, have not, to accept it. I think they have to either accept or decline. Yes. Because, sworn because the, the they have to either be sworn in or decline. We're, we're, we're not going to write in somebody that we haven't to. talked to. Anyway. Right. Well it's a point I was saying <laughs> this, you know. But the one thing but that it would be like Scott where he's on the board but he's just not participating. if they don't accept it then we just have a vacancy again. Because people because people can write in anybody they want without their knowledge. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm trying to think back to what Sue said though about if they don't it's their seat to be sworn into. I don't know that there's like a deadline. You must be sworn in by X date or else it's up for grabs again. They were elected by democratic process. Meaning that I mean, if, if they don't get that. sworn in and they don't decline it, either we're stuck. We yeah, can't it's their seat in that position. Yeah, I think that's what she was saying. But again, I don't believe that we're going to start writing yeah, and paint for anybody that we haven't discussed this. Right, before. and the, this is why she's saying don't be like, oh, you know, we'd be great at that. Oh, okay. okay. So let's all write so five of us write so and so down. They're in. Right. No, we wouldn't. We yeah. would not do that. Um, but the one thing we do have to do if it turns into a writing campaign is to make sure that we all have the correct spelling of that person's name. And that sort of thing, and we all share it, you know, um, because it does have to be legally that person. So, but, um, so hopefully, this will take up, please. Yeah. All right, moving on to the wish list. Um, we discussed at great length the wish list back in November. Um, 
I thought we'd actually approved a whole lot more than what I see on there. <laughs> but um, one of the items that Pam has brought up again is the purchase of a laptop. The library owns a laptop that is in very sad shape. Um, it's sad. Yes. Nine years old. It's slow and very sad. Running XP barely. <laughs> so, so meaning you can't go higher than IE seven. Meaning you can't. I'm not browse arguing. Anything. I'm not arguing. Um, and we want to do. We want to do this Dan Brown event where we have a room full of people here and we're streaming his live speech from Lincoln Center. We want the technology to be functional. Sure. So that's how it comes to the top of the list once again. Um, I talked to Jared today. Is that from PRS? Yes. Yes. Um, he said that statistically speaking, we will get the most success and the highest level of customer satisfaction from a higher end machine. He suggested specifically a Sony Bio or a Lenovo, which is what IBM ThinkPad is now. He said, you know, your Dells and your HPs, you're just not going to be. He said, he said any laptop could be a lemon, but over the years that they've been in this field, they said they see the Sony Bios and the Lenovos just having more success. Um, because we have to get the professional version of the operating system, whichever one we get, and we have to get the full suite of Office. Um, pricing out the commercial websites, the Sony Bio comes in at about 1400 that's also with the case. The Lenovo comes in at 1350 and this is for a small, like 14, 13, 14-inch, not the 15, 16-inchers. Um, but if you were using it in this room, it would be projected anyway. Yes. So that only becomes important for if someone's taking it home. What's yours, Erin? Do you know off the top of your head? It's a Lenovo, and this is actually no, in your size. Oh, um, no. It, um, I want to say it's between 15 and 16. I think you got a bigger one. Yeah, well, this is a piece of paper is 11. Yeah. Yeah, that might be. No. That's probably 15. So, so for small than that. What were the prices again? Uh, this is just, this is quickly going through, you know, customizing very quickly. 1400 for this for the bio and 1350 for the Lenovo, so. Yeah. I mean, and it's the same. Yeah, and, and I have not yet investigated any government contracts that might provide discounts. That was just strict retail. I was going to say, we, um, the federal government always issues the Lenovo's. They have the past, I know at least definitely for the past three cycles. Mm -hmm. we, we use these a lot. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, so these are, I mean, I travel with this every day. Yeah. So they're, they're um, pretty durable. Um, and they lose, I mean, I don't know how big the memory is and all that, but right. they lose so much stuff on this. Yeah, I, I, and I didn't, for these prices, I did not get any extra memory or any, you know, fancy graphics cards or any. The, and those prices are not including the office suite. Or that does include office suite. It does. It includes office. It includes virus protection for one, you know, one year's license. Uh, it includes a carrying case. Um, Lenovo, interestingly, also comes for fifty dollars more. You can bundle office and Acrobat, which I did. Um, and the Lenovo, we still have the option to get Windows Seven if we choose. The Bio is only made with Windows Eight now. No, I don't think we know any of the gadget. That's kind of what I was thinking towards myself from what I've heard. Um, so Pam, you'd like the Lenovo? Well, if, and if Eric can personally vouch for it, and if all federal employees are issued them, then we want to assume that that's a pretty good machine. We'll continue to support it. <laughs> yeah. special on that model, whatever, but again, I'm going to investigate if there's any, you know, state contracts that would okay. Do we need not to specify what you 
Which do we need to specify which company it's spent from? Probably Lignac would be mm -hmm. would be mine. Lignac is actually our technology. Technology. Does, but does that need to be part of the motion? I think so. All right. Well, did you get that error? I did. Did someone second it yet? No. no. Okay. I have a second. Motion. I'll second it. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Anybody opposed? All right. There you go. Uh, we, you know, do you remember back in the day where I used to have visual aids at these meetings a lot? We used to like put the laptop. Yes. <laughs> um, yeah. Instead of me turning my computer around. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yes. Okay. So, do you think the is that the lowest level of memory? That's a it is. Yeah. It's like it's whatever the standard is. I think it was a 50 gig hard drive and 4 gig of RAM. And you could upgrade to eight or to 750. Just make sure that yeah, that it has the space capacity for the upgrade. Because um, sometimes they build them out and doesn't have the space, right? Mm -hmm. I looked at the convertibles too. I thought, you know, maybe we should be like forward thinking and maybe we would, would want a tablet for some reason. Um, those are more around 800 and, and I couldn't quite think of the justification of why we needed a tablet other than we might get it here and find it's really useful. Let's say if you're desperate and you want to do it fast. Go stand it. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. You, have to pay for it. yeah. you might need it soon, just like you've got materials to mm -hmm. show people how mm -hmm. to use them, mm -hmm. too. It might be right. good as a learning tool. Right, right. Which might need a different budget. That's yeah. Different staff versus mm -hmm. patrons. Mm -hmm. right. So we, we briefly touched on the Dan Brown event also, which mm -hmm. the laptop will kind of spur the, again. Oh yeah, that's on the wish list. Let's move forward with that. Um, so, I know you did you already you sign up for this, I assume? I, I RSVP'd. Okay. Um, and I think then, you know, they sent a link, this is how you join the stream, yeah. and we could ignore it if we weren't prepared, or we can go along with it. The other thing is that um, the person who told me about this event is Rebecca over here, who's one of our alums, and she's where, she does programming over there now. And she wanted to have this event, but their large room is not available, so they're putting their they're putting it in a small room. And she wanted to know if we did it too. If they fill up, could they send people to us? And I said, maybe I'm not sure yet. <laughs> That'd be great. It'd be great, but are they going to get here in time? No, no, no. They're in, it's like, I think she'll have to oh, she's registration. Sure. Okay. Yeah, okay. Do we have a date? It's uh, March, uh, May 15th. May 15th. And is it interactive? That, yeah. um, if you want to read what the email says about that, there might, he, he might take questions submitted in advance. He might do a little bit of chat. He might not do anything at all. Okay. They haven't really decided yet. It kind of depends on how many libraries sign up. Cool. Is that basically the gist of what it says? What time? Is there a time on it? 7.30? Mm -hmm. Okay. So it's after the end. It says yeah. there will probably not be a live chat component. Okay. Dan may answer questions and there may, there might be a submit a question in advance and then they'll choose some. Um, and this the final details are being worked out. Can you read also what ex what exactly his talk is on? Um, you just went past it. It's right before it. It basically just says an evening of code, symbols, and secrets. Uh, comes to Lincoln Center to speak about his new novel, Inferno. Which is quite And then it just kind of says thing. science, religion, codes, book publishing, movie making, and a few surprise topic topics. Sorry. And and, and it's his only this will be appearance. his only public appearance. So. Really? It'll be fun, it'll be something different. And this new book is named Inferno. Mm -hmm. Yes, isn't that better? There are many books that have our titles from I mean, yeah. Oh, you're referring to that. The Bible. She's so literate and I'm so slow. <laughs> <laughs> the 
Okay. I'm thinking like, yeah? So? <laughs> um, unless you were referring to the big famous one. We don't often, but um, we don't have anything for outreach or policy right now with respect to the reports. The outreach is mm -hmm. outreach is busy. We're doing the young adult writing, which we've already talked about, the 375. Um, which we've already talked about, but it's not much <laughs> okay. Um, well, I didn't have anything on the agenda under those categories. Okay. So, um, building and grounds. Did you have some more quotations? I, I'm sorry, this meeting came up a week earlier than I thought it was going to. So, a couple of people said they were going to give me quotes, and they have not. Yet. One guy walked around the building. I okay. talked to him a little John. bit. Was that John? No, I didn't okay. ask him. Okay. So he said that he he was going to give it to me, and I haven't seen it yet. Uh, so he didn't leave anything here, right? Okay. Charlie walked around the other day and um, pointed out that we're starting to make some cupping on some of the clouds out there. So cupping is what water's getting in. Well, they've they've dried out. There's no paint, so they're starting to kind of curl. I don't know. He, I think he said it was the south side, which would be what this. Well, that I know that side is really bad. Yeah. But so yeah, south would be over here. I would hope that we wouldn't need to replace anything before the painting. Yeah, that's why I was initially we looking at the trim, but when I did the walk around, I noticed the same the thing, thing, that, thing that yeah. we're going to need to do the whole yeah. thing. Yeah. Sooner no. versus later, unfortunately. But most of it looks really good, but if you're going to go through the, that's you know, nice. if you're going to go through it, then you might as well do, yeah. Yeah, I have do the whole thing. And your last quotation was for each, right? To do the whole thing, or to do just the trim. I had them separated out of the trim and the rest of the building, so the total came to that. Mm -hmm. right. Did you talk at all about the mold and whether there's going to be an issue with mold removal? Uh, I just, I just think that's a that's like a thing. yeah that's a a given okay. you know, that they're not going to paint over mold. Okay. <laughs> you just don't do it. So yeah, and that's not too tough either. But mm -hmm. once again, if this starts to move slower, then I can go in and treat that. That's mm -hmm. you know. You get rid of mold early enough, it's not too bad. I mean, I think we're shooting for the summer, outside. right? On the outside. Yeah, it's not yeah. Too bad. Before, um, before next year. Yeah, we're talking before the things and things, so we're definitely we're hoping to do it this year. Um, and what, you know, to go back to the budget, we did say that if we have this figure in time, if we put in a capital request, I'm kind of inclined not to, given that A, we're asking for a big increase anyway, and B, if you look at the annex, you know that. Rally's not really into paint. <laughs> yeah. You know, we're not next. We're not first. We're not, we're not first in the line. <laughs> right. So, um, did you, you were talking about a previous quote that you had? Was, oh, you yeah, right. Last time you weren't here. I was in here. What was it? Do you remember? Um, that would be the minutes. Minutes, yeah. That's less than I thought it was good. I think it was like. Yeah, it was under 10,000. Yeah. Wow. And that is it's combined to the annual building? No, I don't have that. I was just wonderful. It's, it's in my trustees folder, which I would like to bring. And anyone who... We it doesn't have new quotes. I didn't bring the old quotes, so I apologize. Anyone that we would hire to do that would have to be like professional license. Yeah, license, license registered. registered. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So like, if someone says, oh, I'll pay the library, they aren't hired. <laughs> I take that back. The quotation did not actually make it into the minutes. Just that there were, we reviewed it, not what it was. Oh. Yeah. So, um, I put it in the minutes just now, 9,000 approximately. <laughs> <laughs> That's what the total was. I forget exactly how it was broken down, but it was almost half and half. Yeah, it was pretty close for the trim and the. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, Phil, did you have any updates on the marker? Yep. Um, I actually shared this in a couple of weeks ago. Uh, uh, the thought that probably occurred to me was this is the children's garden uh, is probably looking, approaching more as an adult looking at a brick or a paver in the ground. I think what would be a better idea in, uh, uh, would be for a field stone. Um, I have one that we can get to libraries about 
the diameter is about the size of this uh, notebook right here. Um, it's sort of flat, brownish at the top, relatively flat at the bottom. So we can put that in front of the cherry tree and uh, as, as an idea, possibly could paint it um, kind of along with the idea of the red rock that's already out there or just leave it plain and then put a three inch by five inch plaque um, with the wording of cherry tree dedicated to Barbara Collins, children's story time teller, 26 years, 19 something to 20 something, I need the exact um, years for those two. Uh, I'm not sure three by inch, three by five would be too small, but it would fit perfectly in the natural uh, sure. cut, cut portion of the rock because the kids like to climb on rocks and this would be kind of looks like one that someone uh, child would sit on for, for a story time or stand on. Yeah. It, it's not, uh, it's, it's round enough so, you know, if somebody's walking around, they may not trip over it if it was more of a square shape. Whereas a, you know, my original idea for a paper or brick would be put in the ground, and then maybe others could be added over the years, but mm -hmm. you know, those, those do crack as well. But a fueled stone is not likely to crack. I like that idea. That I like that. Sounds very got, nice. It's got two in the front already. Yeah, I like that. So it sounds very nice. Yeah. But it would still have a plaque of some kind, right? Yes. Yeah. Uh, the smallest, uh, I think, we'd be able to get all the wording on here. Uh, four lines. Um, the longest line is 29 characters, so I'm not sure if three inch by five inch is going to yeah. be too small. They have to go larger, like four by six. But then it gets. Because it'd be nice if it would fit really the way you're saying it. Yeah, yeah so. it, it blend in, and they'll be able to uh, chisel it in and make sure there's no, uh, the corner's not sticking out where something can get scratched or injured yeah. in any fashion. Okay. What's the that cost? Uh, the plaque itself, I still haven't looked at the exact pricing yeah. yet. There's several companies that do that. And would I, I like that? How would we attach it to the stone? Would, it, would there be a company that would do that, or maybe just do, literally glue it? Um, yeah, glue uh, it cemented in. Okay. All right. Uh, in theory, that sounds great. Um, so we would need the cost yeah. when you figure that out. But I would yeah. say that. Unless anybody has any questions, it's definitely worth pursuing. Is that for years? Could you please re read the What I came up with, oh, and this is, this is gathering information what I had from the black, so yeah. if it needs to be changed, no problem. It would be a cherry tree dedicated to Barbara Collins. I didn't know if we want to put a middle edition or not, just leave it as Barbara Collins. Oh. I don't know it offhand, but. The next line would be children's story time teller. Teller is the only word I could think of that would be summarized. And then uh, the fourth line would be numerical number 26. 26 years service, 19 something to 20 something, whatever those exact years were. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I have a picture right here. I still have this one. Oh, is that for oh, that, oh, that, that, nice. that, that photo we took when we had a kid that Although it's not really accurate. She, she worked in the children's room, but she was never the storyteller. So okay. we can work on that a little bit. Okay. We could just maybe as a library volunteer for that matter, too. But well, she was staffed for 26. Years. In that area, she was staffed for 26. I thought she was here. Like, yeah. Oh, so no, she worked here right to the end. She wasn't yeah. just a volunteer, right? She volunteered for a little while afterwards, but not too much longer. The quote? Yes. His email. <laughs> Is this a new one? No, this, this is, is, this is don't make us cross up me in the picture. Please focus on Barbara. <laughs> that, was, that was the day that they dedicated the tree and we had a retirement party. And the, the, it was a surprise that the board was doing that. And all our family was yeah. here. Oh, Bruce Starr was here, of course. Was it was awesome. Yeah. It was great. She and we had activities for the kids, given her volunteerism mm -hmm. or her work in the children's room, I should say. And the, the story time kids made a sign where they all painted their hands and put handprints all over this big piece of paper and it was on the wall and she took that home with her. It was really neat day. It was fun. It was a great day. Okay, so I think um, it made sense to go forward with that. Trying to, to get the price in. Select, the select A couple of select men yeah. here. Yeah. But I mean, I'm trying to remember because it was Barbara Collins. Was it Barbara Collins' day? 
Did they do that now? No, they, they just got all sorts of citations and letters from the selectmen. There was a letter from the governor. Yeah. It was really a big deal. Um, okay, so that's good. Is there anything else on building and grounds that we need to talk about? Well, I did find the quote, so I don't know. I've, I've got it. 42 and 48, 92 total. Michelle just gave it to me. Yeah, 48 and then 4,200. Nine. And so total, it's not that. Yeah. I don't know, it's weird to me that the trim is more, but... Well, it's more time consuming. Time consuming. Yeah. Because yeah. you have to get the fine edges to yeah. do it. Yeah, you have to cut it off. And then there's always true. painting over it, some mistakes and yeah. some okay. drippiness. Yeah, okay. Where's the wall there? Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, it's more labor intensive than... You think about it, the, a wall you're... Mm -hmm. do, 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 on to the next one, you yeah. know? Well, Trim your... There's more shape, too. There's more yeah. 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 Really fast. You know, and maybe I'm just thinking about this about the thing of the clappers. If it's, you know, it's something these people know about, we get, get their opinion of that. You know, how much longer do we wait? You know, should we start replacing the individual ones? You know, I, I don't know if that's something we want to look into. If it's pretty, um, if it's all over the south side, I don't know if that's something we should look into or not. Do you ever, you ever actually have to reside wood? Or do you, I don't yes, know. Yes. 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 Really? Yeah. Not if you keep it unpainted. Yeah, right. <laughs> if you keep it unpainted, then, then it should, that would protect the wood. Because I wonder right. if we get a couple of replaced, fix that, and paint them, and then kind of keep on the maintenance. Well, I would hope that they would say that if they came. That you yeah, that it says pieces. in this wash prep chalk spot prime. So they've, oh, they've yeah. already. I know, I know Charlie mentioned caulk is needed in a couple of places. Yeah. And especially in like the ornamental things, they weren't caulked well, and so things are deteriorating quicker than they should. So good, I'm glad that's in there. Yes. We do want to maintain Thank the you. building for as long as we can. So. Thank you. Yes. Okay. Anything else on building and grounds? All right. We've kind of tabled disaster recovery until we get past budget and long-range planning. So for long-range planning, um, after shuffling the data around two times, we've opted for April 8th uh, as our kickoff slash brainstorming session, we will have a representative, yes? From, from Mass Yep, yeah, Susan Babb, who's who's helped us out before. Um, so the last time we did long range planning, that were, having a representative was huge. It, it really kept us on track, yeah. you know, and kept us where we need to be. And she had, you know, she's trained to do this, is what yeah. the advisory services they offer. So we have invitations to go out, thanks to Michelle and Pam. And I have hard copies of the this is the letter. This is like a um, just a generic copy of the invitation. And I also have the list, and it's two sided, of the proposed people that we will send it to. Um, if, if we don't find anything, even if we do find anything that needs to be changed tonight. Um, my goal is to get these in the mail before I go on vacation on Friday. I think it might be doable. If I hit a wall and don't get to it, I will let the committee members know. Or I can leave, you know, maybe envelopes to be stuffed here for the staff. But I, I, I'm in good shape for things that need to get done before I go. So I think I can spend most of tomorrow focused on this. Pam, are you here Friday? Are you working? I'm, I'm in part maybe for a little while, yes, but. Um, not definitely not for the full day. Actually, just really quickly speaking of Pam being on vacation March 25th, um, I'm glad you brought this up. The payroll I did early, so that's good. Today I trained Amy how to do the bills. So as the bills come in next week, she'll be adding them to the warrant. She will prepare the warrant on Wednesday, and she will email you, and it will be due the following Tuesday. Yes, we don't want them to be here Monday. My original plan was for me to come in. How crazy is this plan? I was going to come in the day after week vacation with this big chore of the bills have to get done, meaning I have to go through a week's worth of mail, and I would have had to leave by like noon for an appointment at Boston. Oh no. Okay. So I said, that is ridiculous to assume that anybody could do that. And then I was like, oh wait, Amy can do the bills. So that's, that's the plan now. All right. So I was going to say to you all, you had to come that Monday to sign. And I didn't specify 
it's it's Phil and Aaron's month right now, right? But I didn't specify. I just said to make it easier on Amy. Just email. I said everybody. just email trustees, and I also told her. If you come in on Monday and you don't have the three that you need, then you email them again and then you get on the phone. So you she's know, on Monday it. The 25th. But it, yep, yep. And I talk, because she'll send it Wednesday and then won't be back again. Right. And I probably will come in Monday, but I can't come in with like a chore that needs to get done. You know what I mean? So is she going to leave them on your desk like the usual? She's going to leave them in the then usual then. spot. Yep. Perfect. Yep. Excellent. And so if one of us is the third signer, we can we can send an email send and a note to the rest of us that. Thanks, guys. Okay, make it easy for me. It'll, it'll work. <laughs> so these are the folks that we did, like we did meet um, for preliminary long-range plan discussion. These are the folks that we decided we would like to invite to participate. Um, we tried to get several organizations as well as boards in town um, and individuals. I have actually emailed both Triton and Pine Grove and have received no response back. From either one, they uh, oh okay. for a child for, for an actual uh, uh, student yeah. representative. So if anybody knows of a school age kid, mm -hmm. like sixth grade, fifth or sixth grade, you're definitely one upper elementary, obviously, especially since the meetings are at night, um, or you know junior high, high school kid that lives in town and. That she just don't like very much. <laughs> yeah. um, um, no, it's two meetings and. Uh, uh, you know, would be focused on on their portion of it. I don't know. Well, what we would want their input on, like what kind of program. If we don't use the library now, what kind of program would get you? Sorry, would get you in here. Um, if you don't use it, why don't you? You know, we we want to hear. You know, what what it's going to take to get more people in here of all ages. So, and we did have a couple of kids, an elementary school kid. Maybe she was junior high at the time, I'm not sure. Um, and some high school kids that came last time. Yep. And they, they did speak up, and they were, it was very interesting what they had to say. So, um, as I said, I emailed both, um, both schools, the person I was directed to, and I got my reply in this case. I find that if you CC the principal, you, you, get, get, a you get a better response. I can try again. <laughs> I'm willing to try again, so I will do that. Um, um, I'm at Pine Grove every day for pickup, and Margo Lacey, the vice principal, is usually outside, so I can just, I can have a conversation with her and say, "This is what we're trying to do. Who should we talk to?" She's the name I was given. Okay, I can have a conversation with her tomorrow. Yeah, no, we yeah yeah the vice principal. That's who I'm supposed to contact. So. Okay. Um, or I'm wondering, Pam, we had um, Mr. McGuire who's third grade teacher had that book club here over the summer and he had a very good turnout for that. Mm -hmm. And it's actually speaking and reading in his class. Well that's what I'm looking at. And I have some of those are some of the kids who might have been in that group now fourth graders. That was that was, ooh, was it last summer and was it first and second or second and third? I don't recall. I wanna say it was kids who may have just had him and the grade going into his grade, which so that would have been like second and third. third. So some of them are fourth graders. So some of them are fourth graders. graders. Yeah. So maybe we yeah. work so for Mr. Anna Mike right now, now, or he would now I'll send a text to Anna tonight to yeah. see if Anna's doing anything. My set doesn't save. Oh. Cool. All right, so I have one of them. I don't have both of them. So I will resend. Um, because one of them, at least, it was a form. That's why it's in my right, notes. It was right. a form. I couldn't just send an email. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, okay. Anyway, I have at least one of them. Yeah. <coughs> well, you know, we, we did talk a lot about the kids we know, and we kind of thought it'd be better if it wasn't a kid or a parent who's invested in a lot, you know, Someone who than just a kid off the street. Right. As opposed well, it could to be somebody who comes, but it, we don't yeah, want it to necessarily friends. be because mom are asking all the time or yeah. you know, whatever, right? But well, if we want, want to get to it, like, right. which we talked about it, we said, yeah. less would, than ideal. What would you yeah. rather see, or, you know, what, we want someone to do it at a constructive criticism as opposed to what they should raise or change a thing. Right, right. Um, now, Janet, your clergy, Bill and Reverend Bob, I don't know who's in St. Mary's now. Reverend Bob. Father, 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 father
You did we walk him at all? I think so. Okay. All right. Um, his last name is Poitras, P-O-I-T-R-A-S. And I'll try to phrase it like if you are a representative, like mm -hmm. something like that. And that's what I'll also send to the fire chief and police chief. Right. And the, there were several of the friends who we were going to let them choose who they wanted to send. Mm -hmm. The Board of Selectmen, we would like to ask one of them to represent their board. The fact that we're holding the meeting on a Monday night means we're not going to get a selectman because that's the night they meet. But that's why still that's when Susan was them. available, so. Right. No, it's, I'm not arguing with yeah. that. I'm just saying that we probably will not get a, a BOS individual. Yeah, we're going to invite some new Council on Aging, the Historical Hard Society of Grange. Hard copy your email. So. Oh, no, mail. Mail, mail, mail. Yep. My suggestion, my only suggestion would be Herman Lyle and not just to call you that to email you too. Okay. Didn't we already have that? We talked about it. What happened the last time is I made follow-up calls, which it was what I anticipated will happen again. Do you want one of the committee members to do that while you're on vacation? And that might be a little soon. We're talking about April eighth. Okay. I mean, they had there's two you weeks do it after I get back. Close enough that we're reminded. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Is there a minimum number that we need? I think so. We had a great group last time. Yeah, 20, <laughs> I think. Yeah. It was, it was so much fun. So much fun. It really, honestly, it was. It was crazy. Which was helped by the graph. Because we, you know, we would have just been kind of grabbing people yeah. along yeah. with it. Mm -hmm. Can anybody think of a demographic that we're missing, necessarily? Or an individual. Like, I, I jotted down Sue Moses and the Zimlax. Um, Zim last time. They, they did. did. Mm -hmm. They were teachers at my at Peyton School. Um, okay. I know actually one of them is always here. Oh yeah, yeah, that one. I thought good. of I thought of her too. Miss um, Nancy lives in Gloucester, but she still may have input. Mm -hmm. um, I'll get the name for you because I okay. can't think it's of it. Yeah, on the tip of my tongue, Nancy. Uh, Nancy Bren. Okay. Her name yeah. W R E N. Or does it mean, you know, or yeah. And I met Nancy recently and she was very, she said great things about wanting to help the library. And I mean, the only, the only sort of reservation I have is we're also reaching out to a lot of people for help with the community read at the same time. I hope they don't get like jumbled in their heads. What is it the library wanted? You know, I, I'm a little concerned about that, but it's kind of unavoidable. The timing. Yeah. yeah. Well, we've already had that community reading meeting, and we, I don't think we'll be going back to them until no, this, no, only only when the survey's ready. We're just going to sign, kind of send that to a bunch of people who's in here. Yeah. We appreciate, right? So speaking of the survey, um, in order to get the survey in with the friends of the library membership meeting, we're going to have this kickoff meeting on Monday night. There's a very good chance that that same Wednesday night we're going to have to meet and finalize the survey. Yeah, this is the working committee. So not all the not the entire board, you know, but anybody who wants to sit in on the meeting. Oh, I just but definitely the Long Range Planning Committee. We're thinking the Wednesday night, but oh, definitely that week so that we can have we're basically we're probably gonna have it more or less prepped even before the brainstorming session because a lot of the questions on the survey have to be the same as they were before in order to measure our success with our last long range plan. One of the um, questions is irrelevant. One will be going away completely. And then others might arise from our conversation right. in the evening. So we want to keep it open for what might come up during the brainstorming session, what we, what we want to know from the community. Um, but we definitely want to finalize that survey that week so that we can get it printed, folded, and in with the, library, uh, the friend's mailing. So it's just bear in mind. It's a tight schedule, but it's, it's doable. Tight. And you know, we kind of backed ourselves, painted ourselves into this quarter, so. And we don't, I mean, again, there shouldn't be a ton of discussion that's needed at that meeting. It should be pretty quick. So. I would think, yeah. Um, so that's kind of where we stand on long range planning. Um, the Friends meeting hasn't actually, well, it happened last night, so we already talked about the book sale and the chili cook off, and um, there are. They're reviewing Carmine's request for summer reading budget. Mm -hmm. That's about it. <laughs> There's a lot of discussion. Well, about about the books and chili. Yeah. So, so I think we're good there. We want to talk about the um, the travel program. 
We're still waiting on Gene on that, aren't we? That's, okay. that's very far off as far as I know. Okay. It was supposed to have happened already. Yeah. <laughs> um, Wasn't there a program at the beginning that, when you were talking about the programs in the director's report, you said there were a couple she more of them? You did talk Those about were, um, um, the, the envelope stuffing and the candidates night. Right. Uh, and May is the candidates night. Yeah. Right. So please um, take a little time and sort of ponder this list and ponder the community and let me know tomorrow. <laughs> I guess if I'm going to truly get this done before I leave. If there's anyone who you think would be a great voice whose input we would really, really like. I'm also making a note to myself. And this doesn't have to be done before I leave. It would be better to do a little later. But I can make a flyer and just put it in all the cubbies at town hall for interdepartmental mail um, to catch the ones that we didn't specifically think of. Like maybe the ad com would be interested. I don't know if they meet in the winter. But anyway, um, I can reach out to the ad com. You know that. Um, and maybe flyers posted in the building. I mean, you never know. And a press release. But that's that can happen after I get back. It truly is never anybody welcome that wants yeah. to have anybody. All right, that pretty much wraps us up. Um, action items, I'm going to ask for a referral for a roofer to the leak site. If anybody else knows of a roofer, by all means. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't yes. catch that. I'm going to look for a referral for a roofer. Oh, okay. For the leak. Eric, do you have something to do that? He's definitely one. And everyone else in our state. Yeah, no, he's, he's definitely well respected here in town, so. Um, do you want and I just heard the name of another one. Do we have his name? Do we have him looking at our. Good. <laughs> so, Eric Teal? Yeah. Okay. Um, John will continue with the painting quotations and fill with the black broken stone for the SS side. Pam to prep and send long range planning. Bye -bye. And bye -bye. Oh, and my laptop and a bunch of other random things. Um, does anybody know who took the reads down? No. Did anybody here in this room take the reads down? I assumed it was Richard. He went to take them down and they were gone. Weird. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did they, they come from Country Gardens? Yes. They have come it might have been Country Gardens. They may have, because I don't imagine they would want them hanging if they're starting to look shabby. Maybe. I don't know that. I'm completely They never have before, but we never okay. quite, I mean, we, we usually manage to get it down in February sometime. So right. we did. And then um, the only other thing I would want to remind everybody is if you have not yet taken your ethics test, <laughs> no. after I take that. Um, when was that? It's due, it's due the beginning of April at the same time. So yeah, I, I took it and I misprinted the form saying I took it, and so now I have to take it again. Oh no! Really? Yeah. How did you misprint it? You spell your name wrong? No, it left my name off of it. It gave me the date and everything else. It didn't give me my name. So I have to retake it. Oh. I don't have to reread the whole thing. I just have to retake the test. But anyway, I was very annoyed with myself at the time. Pam, besides buying the laptop for bunting, what was what were the other? The flag, the open flag. Bunting, um, laptop, laptop, modeling cut letters, um, advertise for a trustee on the website and write a press release. I have to check in with Priscilla because she has the file of the survey. I just make sure that she's able to edit that for us. Was that going to publish her? Do you remember? Yeah, no. It's a PDF. Uh, they, all I have is a PDF version. So theoretically, we can convert it to Word, but we don't know where she started from when she did. We don't know what she started from. Okay. Yeah, but I can send it to you if you want to fool around with it. You have a note here. Who does this come from? Yeah, I was just going to add that to Pam. Do you want to be the only one that signs it, or do you want someone from the committee to sign it? Um, does anyone sign the actual long range plan? You know, and actually, this printed on two pages. I didn't realize it was going to, but there's another line that says library trustee and library director yeah. under our respective yeah. names. If you want me to print them and leave them for you to sign, and then they can get put in the envelopes later, I should be able to swing by tomorrow. Afternoon, if you think that they're done. Okay. Does, does everybody think that there should be actual names and signatures on the bottom? Yes. Somebody's. Okay. Yes. Someone. And we should switch it onto the one page if we can. Uh, yeah, I just I <laughs> hit a print before I realized. I'm like, why is there so much paper coming out? Well, and also this 
this highlighted line will go down to one line because it's whoever we're inviting will either be A, B, C, or D. Yeah, and this, you've got an extra bullet for anything anybody wanted to add tonight, which nobody does. It's a little automatically trained up to me. Okay, so for action items, I have me to look for a river, painting quotations, plaque for stone, prep and send LRP, both of us to sign the LRP invitations, and to buy all kinds of things like bunting, flag, and laptop. Everybody take that ethics test. I'll try to find the email and resend it. Did it just like six months ago? If you did it before December 10th, you have to do it again. It's a new test as of that. Yeah, we can resend it. Okay, I'll find it and resend it. Um, and then Pam, would you advertise for a trustee on the library page? And did I miss anything? Everyone read the books on the short list for the rowdy read. John, you never talked about the dirty line. I thought I did. You were going to table it and then. I thought I did know. Someone, can someone say I think I left, when I left the room, I came back and that's what I was talking about. We were just talking about it a little bit. Yeah. I, okay. I did get through the dirty left, yes. I thought it was good and it does allow itself to functions Perfect. because it's agriculture. And that's it. And, it, and reading, but re the thing is, reading the description and reading the book, I didn't feel, it sounded like it was more of a, like a romance in a sense. And it wasn't. Not that I wanted it to be romance, I'm just saying. But, 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 the, but the appeal, the, people, the perception of it might mean we don't get a lot of men reading it because they might be like, a romance, what? Yeah, so I, and it, and it I, did that, I have that reservation about a physics book as well. Yes, I have that reservation as well. But that one, I, I, I started it. listening to, and that brought me in a lot quicker than the other one did. You know, initially, because really? it said Essex Farm, so I thought it was here, but then it turns out it's in New York, yeah. not Essex County, where she's already made several references to the towns. In yeah, they're here, yeah. 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 You know, so I think that they and, Yeah. And I think you did say the, the dirty life woman is very popular now and would be a tough person to get. Is that correct? I don't know. Okay. Uh, I don't think so. I don't know that she really did a book tour. Okay. I'm not sure. Um, I imagine she's very busy running a farm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, That's and, the impression I get too. And the farm does um, tours. Like I, it's, it's kind of far. A bus tour would be so fun, but it's it's up, it's like way upstate. Well, it's, yeah, it's you know, by Lake Champlain, so it sounds like it's pretty cool. Way up there. Yeah, for like in Vermont, which is always fun. Yeah. Taking mm -hmm. ferries yeah. over, yeah. ride bikes, you know. But, I mean, it's possible we could get her to come here. Yeah. I, you know, yeah. I don't know. Skype. I saw a few more to listen to before. I, I did, it, did everybody hear me say before? I, I, I'm, I'm really riveted by Wells of Essex. And it's, I mean, the, first of all, it starts on Nantucket. It starts on what life is like in a whaling village, on how Nantucket is completely different from Cape Cod and how they were rivals and didn't get along. They didn't speak the same language. And they, they have to go and recruit on Cape Cod, but they're these like greeny whalers and they're no good. And, Right, I'm not making it sound really bit of a And then the conditions on the boat, and you know, they're out at sea for years, and what are the women doing while they're out at sea for years? And it's really, really fascinating. fascinating. So I haven't got to the well yet, and still we're still they just got around Cape Horn. <laughs> Cod was a little more of a slog. Did you finish it? No. I said this up. It was well. It was just serendipitous that um, when I was doing the Kindle class for Council on Aging, I'm like, oh, well, it's domestic. That's on my list. Let me get it. Okay. And that that one's going to disappear in three, you know, in three weeks. Whereas COD, I own. Right. So. So it'll be fun. It's the minds to do one in each kind of the genres that we decided, and then yeah, the first. Three, so the farming, the local author, and then 
do one of the C ones. So it sounds like cloud, not sound like two good. So yeah, I'm gonna go with Nexus. Yeah. But it has nothing to do with Nexus Cloud. Because that's what we got. Yes. Well, I think I think I, I, I feel part. like COD's gonna get better, but right now, where I it starts like with Vikings and I love Vikings. Uh, there you go. <laughs> Mandatory education and training. Yeah, oh yeah, okay. Right under there, there's a link for state employees and county employees. And there should be one for municipal employees. That's just there. It's all different. It's just a summary. I can't see the actual quiz. Are you sure it's not the end? I was a young man. Well, I can send it to you. I have her letter, but unless the link is in the letter, it's not in the email. And I can just go on. Yeah. Okay. I've got the the letter, but I can't get to the quiz itself for some reason. So Pam's gonna look, and I will also. Look. I'm I'm browsing in Firefox right now. I'm just having silly Firefox. It's very uncooperative with PDFs. I still might have it in my inbox. Mark is fine. Maybe. Maybe I just found it. Online training program. There it is. So you just have to go like way, way to the bottom. I'm trying to. Okay. County municipal. All right. If I can get this to open up, I will actually send the link in. There we go. I think I finally found it. I'm just not talking to the Oh, and there's audio. I forgot there's audio. It's fine. Jim, should we all drink? Yes, I'm trying to get there. <laughs> we were still talking All about this. All second half. So. <laughs> uh, motion to adjourn at 9.20, 9.30 exactly. Somebody? From Michelle. Michelle. <laughs> right. And I second. John seconded. All those in favor. Aye. Aye. Thank you very much. <laughs>